Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you the basics of HTML coding. It's what you use today to make websites. Okay, right now, I bet you're thinking, what does HTML stand for? HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. In hypertext, information need not be read linearly as it is a, in a traditional book. Instead, information can be linked in any manner that the author sees fit. HTML is a document type definition known as DTD, for Standard Generalized Markup Language, known as SGML. First, in order to start your HTML, you open up a text document by right clicking new and opening up notepad. Right now, we're going to do something that you always start out with, which is HTML, and I'm just going to add a background color, and you put in parentheses the color, or you can put its definition like FFCC00 would be yellow. Now, H1 stands for heading 1, and I'm just going to type hello and and welcome to my tutorial. Okay, now what I'm going to zoom on is called a paragraph, and then you put hello and whatever you want, and then to end it you just do type the same thing except a slash in the beginning, then P. Okay, now I am going to show you how to put a video on your website. It's called Embedment, and you can easily find it on YouTube.com. Now I'm going to go to Household Hacker, since the, my video is all about that. As you can see, I'm at Household Hacker's website, and I'm going to click on their most recent video, which is the contest I entered in. The Embedment is right, right on the right and then you just right click copy it and put it in your HTML and there it is okay now since I put it in I'm gonna save it and you need to save it whatever it is dot HTML HTML is important because that represent it represents it as the .html file which you use to make a website. Okay, now let's see my short amount of work that I did and I saved it and one of my videos are done uploading not this one. Now let's drag it on there and on the top it'll say ActiveX is preventing from running scripts. Allow it. It's harmless. Now you'll see my video and something that's really cheap and there's the video from householdhacker.com and their YouTube. And if you ever feel like you messed up, you just right click it, open it with notepad and you can edit it, save it and change it. Okay, right now instead of adding a background color, I'm going to add a background picture to the website. And in order to put it in a background, you got to go to a website and get the URL link. And I'll go to google.com, which is the most used. Now I'll just type in one of the games I play, S4 League. And go to images. I'll just pick a random image that's here. You click on it, and then you click on the picture again. And then you copy its URL in your browser. and then you just paste it in there and then put parentheses at the end now let's save it and see what it's diff so different about it okay now see you got a background instead of just some random color
Okay, so have you ever wondered and wanted to ever see what other websites source looks like? What their HTML codes are and their JavaScripts? JavaScripting is a little bit more harder, harder but I'll show you right now. And remember to save it as a .html and practically you have the whole website but you can't host it. See? Now you just allow blocked content and there it is. It's changed. Not a big deal. That, just ignore it. And then if you want to view YouTube's sources, just go to YouTube.com. As you can see, everything's perfectly normal. Right click and go to view source, which is located at the top. And you have the whole website right there in front of you and you can edit it, change it make it look different but it won't affect anyone else just you it's kinda stupid I don't get it but it might come in handy someday Now I'll just open up my first presentation and just add a little thanks for watching. There's the embedment that I added. You can change height, anything. And that's how you start your paragraph right there once again. And to bold it to make it look bigger, you put B. And I hope you enjoyed my little basic tutorial. And that B will make it bold so it stands out to get people's attention then slash b to end it and then slash p to end the path. and that's basically about it you save it and open up internet put it in and that's basically my html tutorial my video response and i hope you enjoyed